This conference will now be recorded. Amen. God is good and he is worthy to be praised on this morning. Magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together for this is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice Hayada. and we will rejoice and we will rejoice and be glad in it God is good and he is worthy hallelujah to be praised hallelujah on this morning father we give you glory this morning and we give you praise this morning father let your will be done on today let your be will be done on this morning let your will be done in the services that will uh we will gather today together and we will celebrate your name those that choose to celebrate or choose to come together for sunday morning worship god we ask you to be in the midst god we ask you just to uh make yourself uh known in the mighty name of jesus lord let healing take place in the mighty name of jesus lord let deliverance take place on today lord god because of your son jesus christ god let miracles take place today let there be the operation of the holy ghost today to operate in our lives use us up oh god use us on today use us up god that will deliver the word use those god that will enter into praise and worship use those god that will read scriptures today use those gods hallelujah my god from zion touch our young people today as they deliver the word as they uh, begin to use their giftings let the anointing be afresh upon them on this morning ha lord let your will let your will let your will let your will be done for thy kingdom come thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven lord god hallelujah let thy kingdom come let thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven god let your will let your will let your will let your will let your will, let your will hallelujah be done hallelujah like never before in the name of jesus trust in the lord with all thine heart and lean not to our own understanding in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct our paths lord god i pray to this morning god that we will continue and we will begin to to acknowledge you in every area of our life every aspect of our life every season of our double shababado every season of our life it does not matter the storm we're going to acknowledge you it doesn't matter the test we're going to acknowledge you and god you are going to direct our path you are going to show us the way for the steps of a good man 
are ordered, are ordered, are ordered, Tanda, Eyaso, are ordered, are ordered by the Lord. Lord, I know it may be challenging, but God, we're going to acknowledge you in every area, not some areas, but every aspect of our life, God. In the name, I Losi, in the name of Jesus, that we give you the glory in this place, God. We give you praise, hallelujah, in this place, Father, in the name of, hallelujah, of Jesus. We will not lean to our own understanding, for our own understandings allow us to fail. Our own understanding allow us to be jacked up. Our own understanding, God, I also cause us to get into traps. Our own understanding allow our families to get bind up. Our own understanding allow our marriages to crumble. Our own understanding. And so, God, we will not lean to our own understanding, but God, we will lean to the Holy Ghost. We will lean to the power of God. We will lean to the wisdom of God. We will lean uh, to the heartbeat of God. Hey, God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, that we give you glory. Father, in the name of Jesus, you said in Luke, if thou be willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but thy will be done. Father, there are times and there are seasons in our life that we have spoken or we will speak the same thing. Take this cup from me. Take this cup from me. Take this cup from me. I love you, God, but take this cup. I adore you, Jesus, but take this cup. I worship you, Lord, but take this cup. And many of us may be on this line right now. And you may be saying, take this cup. You may be saying, I don't want your will. But he's saying, drink all of it. And, and I so. Take this cup, God, because I don't understand my season. Remove it. Remove it, God. Remove this cup from me. I thought I can handle it, but I can't handle it. But I want you to know there's time that he gives you this cup. There's times that he allows things, but then there's other times that he gives you things. <clears throat> he gave you this cup, uh, now this kind of cup. Just how Jesus said, Take this cup. No, no, no. God gave him the cup. Hey, there's some cups that God places in your hand, place in your hand. Sometimes the cup is small. Sometimes the cup is large. Sometimes the cup is, is tall. Sometimes the cup is short. But as long as I know that he gave it to me, he will not put more on me or you than you can bear. Shake yourself and drink out the cup. Shake yourself, oh my God, and take responsibilities of the cup. Shake yourself. And discipline yourself. Because the cup that you're asking God to remove, I don't know who this is for. But I hear the Holy Ghost early in this six o'clock. He says, you are asking me to remove something I have placed in your hand. This cup have your fingerprints on it. This cup 
is tailor made for you. You're telling me, you're telling God to remove something that you are anointed to carry. You're telling God to remove something that only you can consume. Nobody else could take this cup. Nobody else, no other apostle, no other prophet, no other fivefold ministry, no other man, no woman could take the cup that the Lord has drunk. And at one time he said, remove this cup, but he's uh, the only one that could take the cup. Uh, he got right. His flesh was speaking out. Pain was speaking out. Suffering was speaking out. But he said, you know what? Nevertheless, I know I'm bleeding. I know I've been wounded. But I am the only one to drink from this cup. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. This is for you that's on this line right now. This is for you that will 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 uh, uh, listen to this uh, uh, recording later. But don't tell God to remove the cup. Ask God to give you grace to carry the cup. But don't remove it. I know, I know. But don't remove it. It hurts, but don't remove it. And don't drink some of it. Drink everything that God has in store for you that's in that cup. Because that cup, that pain, that suffering that Jesus had to go through, thousands and millions and millions and millions and millions of people Millions of people are saved, set free, and delivered because he did not remove that cup. Hey, my God, my God, my God. Hey, Tando. Oh, ba 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 da. Hey, my God. My God. My God. Hey, Tando bo shidiabo. That cup that you're carrying right now. Is so, so powerful and so anointed. The cup that you're carrying, you don't even realize the, the, thank you, Holy Ghost. You don't even realize the weight of glory that that cup carry. That cup, that season, that storm, that test carries so much weight in title it carries so much weight of glory first of all it's his will for you to carry the cup now the question is he's moving me a little different you've been pondering in your mind how long do I have to carry this cup? Oh my God. How long is my season? How long I have to go through this pain? How long do I gotta carry this, this cup that you're telling me that will bring blessings, that will bring deliverance, that will bring what the people may need, the family may need, your generation may need, those that's on the street corner may need, what the pimps and the dope boys may need. How long? Time is not important when you are carrying this kind of cup. Consistency it's important when you're carrying this cup. Completion is important when you're carrying this kind of cup. Oh God, Tada. Mm, 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 mm. It's because this kind of cup 
you cannot rush through. This kind of cup, you cannot just run through. But this kind of cup, you must drink all of it. How long will it take for you to drink out of it? I don't know. But I do know this. You must drink all of it. Jesus had to drink all of it. But look at the reward. Look at the reward. Watch this. Even though that cup was heavy, no one killed him. No enemy killed him. Scripture said he gave his life for ransom. He gave his life that he can live again, that his body will come up out of the grave that we would be saved, set free, and delivered. He took the sting from death. He received, he got victory over death because he did not push the cup away. Don't you push back your anointing. Don't you push back your test. Don't you push back the trial that God has already allowed you to go through because there's a reward. Oh, my God. My God, I, I know it's challenging. I, I know it's challenging, but, but, but if you can hear me on this morning, just go ahead and put in the chat box for real, for real. And don't do it if you don't mean it. But if you really mean it, just how Jesus say, I'm going to drink it all. Say, I'm going to drink it all. I'm going to drink it all. Go ahead and put in the chat box. I'm going to drink. I'm drinking all of it. 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 I'm going to drink it all. I know. I know. I know it's bitter. I know it's bitter but I'm drinking it all. Oh God, I feel God right here. I feel God right here. He's moving a different way this morning. Hallelujah. We started out praying a little, but listen, hear me, hear me, hear me. Don't push the cup. Watch this. Don't push the cup off the Lord's table. <laughs> because there's victory in the cup there's healing in the cup don't push the cup away don't push the cup away because great divine deliverance is in that cup obedience is in that cup wisdom is in that cup Words of knowledge is in that cup. Don't you push it. Don't you push it away. Don't you push it away. I know you're sweating, but don't push it away because God got you, man. God got you, woman of God. God got you, man of God. I promise you, he has you just how God had Jesus. Oh, he said, take this up away from me oh god he said but wait a minute wait a minute he said that was my flesh talking i know your flesh talking in this season i know your flesh been trying to tell you even on this 40-day fast that we was on that we completed on friday your flesh was talking to you these 40 days your flesh was talking these 40 days built you up so strong until the cup that you want to give up on, the cup that you're finna push to the side, the cup that you're like, uh uh, God, I don't want this. That cup, now you're drinking from it. You, he, you have, he have given you the strength to pick it up and drink from it. I don't care what you have to do, but don't you remove it. If you got to, if some people, uh, uh, 
they like to drink things cold. Some people say, no, I need some hot tea. I don't care how you have to do it. But whatever you do, don't you push it aside. My God. James 4 and 13. He says, go to now. Ye that say today or tomorrow, we will go into such a city and continue there a year and buy and sell and gain. My God, whereas ye know not what ye shall do on tomorrow for what your life is. It is a vapor. It appears for a little time and then it vanishes away. We have plans and God have plans. I'm going to say it again. We have plans and God have plans. Start out your day instead of saying what you're going to do. Lord, what is your will? What you, where do you desire me to go? What do you desire me to say? Who do you desire me to speak to? Sometimes we map out our day and we ignore God's day. We map out our day and we ignore God's day. It is his day. Every day is his day, but we map out our day and we ignore his day. We don't even include him even in the plan of our day, many of us. But guess what? My God, because if you uh, allow him to come in and allow him to be the first fruit, if you allow him to come in, my God, from Zion and allow him to govern our day for the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, guess what? We will find ourselves following him even the more. We will find ourselves when we are in the operation of the anointing, the word of God, his plan. We will find ourselves moving in the rhythm of God and the plan of God. And the plan of God is greater and is better than our plan and our ways. So God, I pray that we discipline ourselves. From this day on, each day, each day, each day, each week, each month, oh God, as the year continue on, that we will have so much reverence for you that before we walk out of our house, before we map out our day, God, what is your will? And we will have an ear to hear what the Spirit is saying to us. In the name, hallelujah, of Jesus. For I know the thoughts I think towards you, said the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. We will never know our expected end. If we're, if we're not in his plan, I'm going to say it again. We will never see the expected end if we are not in his plan. We have expectations for many things, but many of us don't have an expectation for his will. We have an expectation for our will. We have a desire for our will. But if we are going to see the expected end, thoughts of peace, not of evil, 
If we don't have a mind to be in the wheel, we will not see the expected end. Because the expected end, hey God, that is the destiny that God has for us. That is the destiny that God has for us. We might as well be there for the expected end. The reason why many of us get frustrated because we do not see he is expected in. But just know I have an end. You have an end. We all have an end. But God says, daughter, son, the thoughts that I think toward you. Thoughts that you can't even fathom. Thoughts that you can't even think about. Thoughts that you have not even done in your mind. Have not even came into your psyche. Have not came into your mind. I are, I'm already basically saying, I'm already there. Your expected end has already been made. He's not... He's not getting your expected end together. He's not like he's in the back room. He's in the back room and he's putting stuff together. No, we are talking about God. No, we're talking about our Lord, Savior, Jesus. We are talking about the Alpha and Omega. No, he's not putting stuff together. He already had it. It's already done. We have to just walk to our expected end. We got to get there. It's already there. We can't see it, but it's already there. If I could use it in the natural, it's already built. The building is there. To mo the motai center is there. If I could look at it in the natural, the motai is there. That means everything that you need, it is there. That expected end is already there. He's not making it up. He's not preparing it. No, no, no. He's preparing us. But your expected end is there already. Walk toward your destiny. Itaya. Wipe the sweat and keep going forward. Get the band-aid, slap it on, and keep going. Do the surgery that needs to be done and keep going. Hey, God. Somebody say, keep it moving. When you got to expect it in, you got to keep it moving. Put it in the chat room. Keep it moving. This is... The resolve that we have to have in this season that we're leading in. You got to keep just keep it moving. Pain, I know, but you got to just keep it moving. Hurt, I know, but just keep it moving. Because I have an expected end. You have an expected end. And guess what? If you don't keep it moving, you're not going to reach it. Oh, God, I don't know who I'm talking to. But you got to keep it moving. Who cares what everybody is saying? Forget everybody else. You can try to help them along the way. And that's all you got to do. That's all you can do. But you got to keep it moving. I'm not letting nobody else. I'm not letting the inner me. Hinder me. I'm going to say it again. You have to keep it moving. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Paul. Paul was shipwrecked. Paul was a prisoner. Paul went through a great storm. Paul told them, listen, don't y'all go. They went anyway. Paul made it and the rest of them, they made it on broken pieces. But 
Keep it moving, Paul. Keep it moving, prisoners. Keep it moving. Paul told them that the Lord spoke to him, saying, none of you will die. A hair on your head will not be harmed. In other words, we get ready to face something, but keep it moving. Challenges may come, but keep it moving. Paul gets on land. Paul gets on land. Watch this. Hear me good. Paul do something that many of us have to do. Many of us don't do what Paul do. Did rather. Many of us won't do what we didn't do rather. What Paul did. Paul gets on land. He gets near the fire. Close to the fire. To put sticks in the fire. To get warm. Paul get bit. By a venomous viper. A venomous viper. Not a big anaconda. Not the king cobra. But a venomous. Watch this. Viper. If you do the study. That viper is small. Vipers are very very small. They can fit in cracks and crevices. But they are one of the poisonous snakes. In the world. A viper. That's how small he is. If I was in your home. If you was at my ministry right now. I say keep it moving. Paul realized. I have a destiny. And it doesn't matter what I have to face. I have to keep it moving. Paul reaches hand. By the fire. And he get bit. By the viper. Scripture says he shakes it off. This is the problem that many of us have. We do not do what Paul did, but we let the viper linger. I'm going to say it again. We let the viper linger. We show everybody what the viper is doing. I hear you, Holy Ghost. And the Lord is speaking to you right now that's on this line. And that will be viewing the reviewing this recording. Stop letting the viper linger. <laughs> oh my God. I hear your Holy Ghost. Stop letting the viper linger. Stop letting what happened to you linger. Oh God, I hear it. I, I I hear you. Stop letting what happened to you linger. Somebody's gonna be delivered this morning. You got 25 more minutes left. Somebody's gonna be delivered this morning. Because Holy Spirit just told me they are allowing it to linger. Oh God. We're not doing what Paul did. We're showing everybody, we're telling everybody what happened to us and it's allowing you, it's allowing that spirit to linger. It's allowing the pain to linger. It's allowing the spirit of reject rejection to linger. Today, this morning, I'm telling you now, is your day of deliverance? Oh God. Oh, God. Today is your day of deliverance because the Bible says, the Bible says it is recorded that automatically that Paul shook the snake off. He didn't give it time to linger in his spirit. 
He didn't give it time to say why the snake bit me. He didn't give it uh, energy to say I don't deserve this. He didn't give it energy to say it's not fair. He didn't give it energy. He knew if I do not, watch this, if I do not shake this thing off, it's going to kill me. If I don't it, it. If I don't shake this venomous snake off, it's going to get into my bloodstream. Oh, I'm speaking to somebody this morning. Don't you allow this thing to get in your bloodstream. Don't you allow this thing to get in your spirit. And if it have, today is your day of deliverance. No more lingering. No, oh, I see to that. Oh, I feel the power of God right now. Many of you on this line, you've been allowing some things to linger. It, it, it done got into your bloodstream. It done got into your spirit, man. And you won't let it go. You won't shake it off. You are letting everybody know what happened. The devil is a liar. And the devil is already defeated on this six o'clock morning. On this morning, this fifth Sunday, watch this fifth Sunday, God has given you grace. The number five is the number of grace. God has given you grace to survive it. Now God has given you grace to get rid of it. You survived the big, the bite. You survived the bite. You survived the bite. Thank God that you survived it. Thank God you survived it, but don't allow it to linger another day. Paul realized, Paul realized, he said, he, he shook that thing off so fast. Oh God, I can't let it linger. I can't let it linger. I'm saying this for you right now. I can't let it linger. That's your spirit, man, now. I'm speaking for your spirit, man. I can't let it linger. I can't let it linger anymore. I see some of you had tears in your eyes. Tears are in your eyes. Because you have let it linger, but no more. No more. Today is the day of freedom. Today is your day of deliverance. I can't let it linger. I, I just can't. I just can't. I don't let this thing rob me. I don't let this thing rob me. I don't let this thing rob me. Today is the day of your deliverance. Be healed. Be set free and be delivered. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Taya. Oh, my God. I can't let it linger. And so, God, in the name of Jesus, we give you glory. And, Father, we give you praise. In the name of Jesus, everyone, everyone that has been allowing those ungodly things that have happened to them, those lies, those ungodly areas that we have allowed things to come in. Lord, we cancel the assignment of the enemy now. Lord, that those spirits of rejection and bondage and hate and unforgiveness and those things god we remove it from our lives now we bind it from our lives now god we send it to out of darkness and dry places never to return again god and we lose forgiveness we lose the spirit of the holy ghost we lose the oil of joy we lose god now god the spirit of forgiveness. Father, 
We will not allow this thing to linger anymore. But we will get up from here. Just how Paul shook the beast off, shook the venomous viper off of it, the viper off of him. And he continued. He moved on to continue to do what God has caused him to do. In the name, in the name of Jesus. Ah, yeah. That we give you the glory, oh God. And we give you the praise in the name of Jesus. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Lamb. For it is the will of God that with well doing ye may we may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men. Lord, we put to silence the ignorance of the foolish men. We will follow God. We will not follow foolish men. Hit high. Because our will, God, many times are not your will. We know that all things work together for the good of them that love God to them who are called according to his purpose. Father, we know all these things that's going on in the earth. All these things that's going on in our lives. It is working together for the good of them that love God. Father, we love you. We adore you, oh God. We give you glory, oh God, for all the things. Hey, hey, God. We thank you, thank you, Father. In everything, give thanks. For this is the will of God. It is the will of God to give thanks. It is his will to praise him. It is his will to worship him. Somebody may say, what is your will? Well, let's start out praising him. What is your will? Let's start out giving him thanks in the mighty name of Jesus. Delight yourself also in the Lord. And he shall give thee the desires of your heart. Get ready. Get ready to see the desires of your heart be fulfilled. Get ready to see the desires of your heart be fulfilled. And because we are believers, because we love God so much, our desire matches his will. Our desire matches his will. And so God, let his, your, your will be done. In the mighty name, in the powerful name of Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Father, we love you. We don't love the world. And so, Father, as we continue to discipline 
ourselves from the world and the world worldly aspects and the worldly makeup god as holy spirit discipline us god that we would be in the kingdom of god like never before we will walk in the ways of god as holy spirit continue to discipline us and push out of us those worldly mindset and renew our mind into in the name of jesus as we enter into the presence of god the glory of god the word of god the will of god the power of god hey god we will do it in your instructions and in your directions father move today in the services move today let your wind let your fire let your holy spirit father touch your people today not only in sanctuary but all over the world let revival break out let revival break out let revival break out in the midst of your people let revival break out in the villages let revival break out on the corner let the let revival break out god let us be revived so much until evangelism will be placed in our heart being a witness for you will be placed in us so greatly that we have to tell somebody about jesus we have to let someone know about jesus and god no one comes to the father unless the spirit draws them so god i know you're drawing those to sanctuary you're drawing those to other ministries. I know you're drawing those to people who are saved that they can witness Jesus to them. You are drawing those. Draw them to the right grocery store. Draw them to the right ministry. Mm -hmm. Draw them to the right bus stop. Draw them that they'll get on the right bus. Draw them to the right people while they sit on the bus. They'll be an evangelist. They'll be a believer. To witness Jesus Christ to them. Draw them, oh God. Draw them, oh God, to the right businesses. Draw them, oh God, that we can witness and they can come to know Jesus Christ as a Lord and personal Savior. In Jesus' wonderful name. Amen, amen, and amen. Amen, God is good, and he's worthy to be praised. If I was you this week, go back to the recording. There were some instructions that was given, given <clears throat> some wisdom that was released. So go back and hear it again, amen hallelujah that you won't miss your opportunity that you will not miss your opportunity make sure that nothing paralyzes you because guess what you're moving you're moving forward you're keeping it moving you got to keep it moving you got to keep it moving I'm looking in the chat room. Now you got to keep it moving. And stop complaining about that cup. Drink that cup. Drink out of that cup. Because God gave you that cup to drink out of. And if God gave you that cup to drink out of, then he have given you the grace on this fifth sunday to drink out of it 
and drink all of it. Drink all of it. Drink all of it. There's some important nuggets in there in this recording. God is good. Amen. Amen. I see you. Someone, Sister Johnson said, procrastinating. Yes, 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 yes. Lingering is procrastinating. So we can't linger. You got to keep it moving. You can't linger. Shake that stuff out. Shake off doubt, fear, and unbelief. Many times, that's why we procrastinate because of uh, fear, doubt, and unbelief many times. Then for some of us, is for being just lazy. We're lingering because we're just lazy. Just waiting, just sitting there. Like it's going to just be given to us. Mm, 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 mm. God has already put the, the know-how, or he will put the know-how, the wisdom, the strength on the inside of you. He wants you to bust a move. He wants you to make that move. He's there. Make that move. You got to keep it moving. You got to bust the move. Come on. You got to bust the move. No more procrastinating. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Ty no bullshit, Kate. Hallelujah. Paul realized. He said, if I don't shake this beast, if I don't shake this viper off me. It will destroy me. You will not be destroyed. You will not be destroyed from the bite. I prophesy, I declare, and I decree. You will not be destroyed by the bite yep you got bit but you won't be destroyed behind it e for i give god glory i give god praise because the enemy did not triumph oh jesus god is good and he is worthy to be praised. Weapons will form, but they will not prosper. May God bless you. May God smile upon you is our prayer. Let's not forget sanctuary and those that are in the surrounding areas. 930, 930 is our Jesus walk, our foundational class. Amen. And uh, let's not also, also let's not forget about our 1030 hour worship experience. Listen, our youth are in charge today. Pastor Herbie has a powerful word. I know he have a powerful word in his mouth that he has for the people of God that will join us today. Listen, if you don't have a church home, you're in the surrounding areas, it may be uh, your, your, your ministry or your church, your pastor is not having ministry right now. And if you're still affiliated or still connected with them, let them know. Uh, pastor, I want to go ahead and uh, visit and go ahead and visit uh, uh, Pastor Fox Church, you know, today. Come on out. Let's let's. Because God's going to have a high time. We, we're going to have a high time in God with our youth. And listen, and listen, and listen. Uh, this is not a children, uh, like children patty cake service. No. God uses our young people. The anointing be there. Deliverance be there. The kids be laying hands on each other. We didn't have them that they lay hands because one is filled with the Holy Ghost. They laid hands on the other one. They got received with the 
they receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. So don't underestimate our youth day. Don't underestimate our youth service. Amen. Because God moves in our youth service. So come out. Uh, listen, the, the godparents and the grandparents, if they don't have another ministry to go to, let them come out and support their, their grandkids and their godkids. Amen. God is good. Just keep uh, Apostle Brenda and, 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 and Apostle Helen and Chief Apostle Butler. Let's keep them um, lifted up in prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Well, there's any other announcements? Amen. Well, if not, we're going to close this line. May God bless you and may God smile upon you. Here's our prayer. Amen. 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 God bless.